I think I'm still under shock. I'm like shaking. Do I need stitches? Um, I think you might need a couple because your parrot tore. Yeah, it's, it does. Some of it ends. Some of it is nice, but there is a little bit of a missing tissue here. on this it has blood stains already it's my blood stains this is all what happened today so now I'm shaking I think I'm under shock I don't know if you guys can see this Actually, I'm pretty tough and cool, but this, this bite really hurt. Ow. Oh, that hurt. And I drove myself over here and everybody was so slow and I was driving like 97 on the freeway just to come to the ER. I thought my ears detached. It felt like it. Oh. Is this hurting? No, it's just cold. Mm. Just cleaning it, right? Yeah. Did he punch right through it? Like, no. back and forth or just front? No, just the front. This is not a lot of stitches, right? I don't, I still don't really know because it's, I think maybe one here. Does that hurt? No, I just feel some pressure. But then I'm also shaking. Does that hurt? No. None of this hurt? It didn't hurt. Okay. How long will it take to heal? Like two, three weeks? Mm. The... There's not a lot. Oh! Sorry, sorry. There's water. Does that hurt? Right it, just no, it just went right into my ear field. In my ear drums. How many stitches do we need? Do you, what do you think? I think maybe just like two or three. Mm -hmm. But that will be our skull, right? Um... Probably just because like all lacerations have scars. Yeah. It was so painful when I came in, but the meds helped to reduce the pain. So I wanted to try to get them to you as soon as possible because I knew that finding your room was going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, to kick in. Yeah. The last time I got stitches was when I was eight years old. I ran through a glass wall. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it numb up here? Mm. Numb like I don't feel anything? Because numb I like do, it doesn't hurt. I do feel stuff, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Okay. Are you are you a doctor or are you a PA? A PA. Oh. But you know what you're doing, so that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. So one day you'll be a doctor, right? No. Not not the path for me. No. My brother's a doctor. Oh, cool. Yeah. What kind of doctor? He is an internal doctor. He did some ER stuff when he had his um, regency. Mm -hmm. But he's in Germany. Where does he work? He works in Bremen, in the hospital. Bremen Hospital. Where's that? Germany. Oh, cool. You're from Germany? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Does that hurt? Uh, no. No? Not at all? No, not at all. It's now, my ear is super warm. But yeah. it doesn't hurt. That. It's like a little, oof, that a hurts. little tinge. But over here is okay? Yeah. Does it hurt? Um, no, it doesn't hurt. It's just like a little, like a little pinch. 
All right, I'm just gonna have Dr. Schubert come and just see what he thinks about this. Okay. Now that you're this is my first time that I ever got stitches for a bird bite. I got bitten by Victory here, right here in my end. Destiny bit me here, you can see scars here, 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 and here, I still have scars. Charlie bit me three months ago here, she has a scar. And I eyelid right there, you see that scar? And now Hope he bit me here, uh, all these bites. But none of them were so severe than this. Then I need now stitches. I have pimples. I, I don't even know why I have pimples. I didn't have time to put makeup on. Everything happened so fast. If you want to see me without makeup, here it is. No makeup. Just raw. That's me. Waiting for the doctor. I think I'm still under shock. I'm like shaking. Yeah, no, I'm not saying so either. No makeup. This is me, guys. If you ever want to see me with no makeup, no makeup, just raw. I'm waiting for the doctor to come. Been waiting for like 15 minutes. She didn't come back yet. I want to film. I hope I can film it. There was one guy who was really like unfriendly. He kicked me out of the room. I don't like mean, unfriendly people. I like friendly people, cause I'm friendly. But it doesn't hurt. It's so numb right now. So numb. And he bit me in here too. So in there, they won't be stitching it up. <laughs> It didn't break through the other side, did it? But it's so numb right now, it doesn't hurt. I think it should heal by itself. I don't even know if I need stitches. Let's see what the doctor says. Oh, look, here's a white hat. I pop it. Popping the white hat. Mm, it's hard to pop it. I need two fingers, and I need one hand to hold the camera. But, ah. Uh, at that. They really got me good. I'm so happy that it didn't break, like, tear it apart. Like, divide this. I see people have divided ear laps and, or like a big hole in the ear laps to put big earrings in there. And there's like a hole you can punch your finger in that. I don't like that. <laughs> I think it's ugly. I want natural. Stay as classic as you can. Be as natural as you can. See this side, I have an earring hole right here. So this, I can't really see the earring hole anymore. Because when I was eight years old, I got punched for earring holes. But now, there'll be a scar. Oh. I don't know, all these birds. Do I need stitches? I think you might need a couple. A couple? Yeah. And you could probably derm them on that one. Mm. We're just gonna do two two sutures to keep it together. Okay. And cool. then we're gonna do some glue here along this one. I think. Okay. And then it will heal together nicely with no big gap. Well, you're gonna have a little bit of a gap here because your parrot tore it's a tear. It's a tear? Yeah. It does, some of it ends, some of it is nice, but there is a little bit of a missing tissue here. Oh. So that's gonna have to fill. It's gonna look like you pierced your ears. Okay. And then this one is just gonna be a little line. We're talking about like how we should anesthetize it. The issue is that it's not a lot of tissue. Mm -hmm. And so we tried doing the blocks and they didn't really work very well. Honestly, it's two stitches. Two, it's gonna be one, two, poke, one, mm -hmm. two, poke. Mm -hmm. I think that at risk of distorting the tissue, I would probably recommend that we just don't infiltrate it with local. Vocal? But with that... local lidocaine to numb it up because it will make the tissue not come back together nicely. Oh, okay. Because it's a small spot. So I think that we should just wash it up and then we should just go Suture through, suture through. It'll be just be like two pokes. Two pokes. 
Well, technically four, but instead of that burning, instead of the burning, like the poke thing. and the burning, it'll okay. be just the poke, no burning. Two times. Yes. For two sutures. For two sutures. Okay, let's do it. I'm so happy you got my ear, and not my, not my your face. face. I know, not your eye. I, exactly, my Did face. Did you turn? Was he going for your? Eye? He was going straight. He came out like a rocket out of the bird room, and he went straight to my ear. Oh, it's just water. Yeah. It's just cleaning, disinfecting it. Yep. Mm. Oh, in your ear? Yeah. Okay. Straight in my ear. Oh, my ear is now oh, clocked. We're just gonna put a little antiseptic. Mm, that burns. So that was two pokes, two more to go? Do you have to come back to pull the stitches? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably in 10 days. And it heals better in the air, right? You're not gonna bandage it up. The worst is over, right? Uh huh. So now we're just gonna apply some glue. Okay. Like, uh, crazy skin, glue? Skin glue. Oh, skin glue. Because it's under a lot of tension, so I yeah. thought that, like, we could just probably do a body it and it's, it'll heal fine. That way, the Darabot doesn't just run out. Yeah, right, right. Wow, that's it. 
Okay, so now we're gonna apply some glue. Okay. Applying just some moisture to your hair so we get that out of our way. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I just lift it and then blot it. Yeah. I put it directly on this one. You know what actually is really helpful sometimes is um, the nasal cannula. I use sometimes it's to dry things. These birds, man. Cause it's like dry air too. Yeah. Is it okay to lean back? Whatever you say right now, I can't hear you. I'm oh, sorry. I think it's pretty dry. It's all warm and fuzzy. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. It's not dripping anymore. Okay. Wow, looks good. Just really purple. Yeah, the glue is purple. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. We're good? When was your last tetanus shot? 2021. Okay, you're good. And we're going to do antibiotics. And... Can I yeah. take this thing out of my ear? Is there something inside my ear? No, there's nothing inside here, but I wouldn't touch it because the glue is still a little bit wet. Oh, okay. I feel like it's clock. It's probably water. It's water that clogs it? Okay. Yeah, from me. I'm sorry that it was painful, but you did really well. <laughs> Thank you. Did it still hurt a lot? Um, no, actually, no, it's warming up now. Good. Doesn't hurt at all, it's just warming up. Thank you so much, you guys did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it won't be like before, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. Actually I had to look this up in the literature and look up some case reports about it. And basically it needs doxycycline and augmented. Okay. Um, I can pick it up in my pharmacy, right? Yes. Okay, cool. We're gonna give you your first doses here. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. So I can't hear this is totally clock right now. I can hear, but not hear. I feel like it's told something is clock. It's clock. Like it's, ah, there it is. Water just came out. Just check the water out. Yeah, I got a lot of blood. Water just came out. Oh, it's blood water just came out of my ear. Huh? Now I can hear. So I'm getting medication. And then I can go home. And that's it. Guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up.
Comment below what you think about this bite. I'll see you next time. Bye.